So let's, uh, let's take a couple of moments to introduce you to Catchpoint. Um, as we're ramping up to the elections coming up, and I think there's an actual debate today, uh, there's a philosophy about stating your point and objective in 10 words or less. So my goal is to kind of give you the definition of Catchpoint in 10 words or less. And we, those 10 words are, we are a unified user experience measurement and monitoring SaaS platform. And once you get that marketing speak out of there, what it means is we help organizations measure, analyze, and monitor the digital user experience. So Catchpoint has designed our platform to really be centered around the, the user experience whether that is a customer or an employee, regardless of who that user is, uh, we are able to provide that visibility and understanding on the different services that they're attempting to access, what actions that they're trying to perform regardless of connection or location. And we observe all these required steps for a successful user action to take place and provide that actionable data to the monitoring team. We have that ability to monitor the experience from within organizations' networks via enterprise nodes all the way down into the end user via browsers and endpoint uh, nodes themselves. But more importantly, we monitor the experience from the edge of the global or from the edge of the enterprise out to the global network, giving us really true comprehensive visibility into all actions that are taking place. And this reach within as well as outside the corporate environment allows us to provide a truly unique approach to three types of monitoring services, customer experience monitoring, employee experience monitoring, and digital services monitoring. Now, improving the customer experience really is the core to what Catchpoint was founded for and really does remain at the heart of what we do. You know, especially in these recent times, um, you know, consumers' expectations for seamless online experiences regardless of the transaction they're trying to complete is increasing. Their demand for better, faster, and easier services are not slowing down. For example, uh, I spend a lot of time on different uh, news networks. You know, one of the sites that I visit from time to time is actually the CNN uh, website. And uh, the last time I visited it, it was completely frustrating to me because there's so many ads there's video screen expansions and article expansions that when I actually tried to click on an article that I wanted to read, it actually took me to an advertisement because the page itself was evolving and developing so slowly. Uh, so my expectations were that it would be performing better than that and it didn't. So I ended up complete, uh, clicking on an advertisement for something I had no interest in, in looking at. So I tried to understand what was going on and, and what that means to the customer experience. Because it was not optimized, um, the experience that I was trying to actually have failed. And it was, the website itself was actually overwhelming my browser. You know, this, this experience was a collection of different content pieces. So we can actually go through our platform and take a look at the CNN page itself and understand what all actions are happening to load up that particular uh, page itself. And it was a collection of different content coming from different locations. You know, one article uh, that I was trying to access was actually coming, I'm assuming, from a CNN data center in Atlanta. An advertisement was coming from Facebook on the West Coast. And there was video coming from a, most likely a CDN service closer to me out of Miami. And each component has different paths, dependencies, and SLAs. Now, with the Catchpoint platform, organizations can actually validate that these different components are actually delivering in accordance to their own benchmarks and SLAs. And this will help organizations minimize those potential impacts. Uh, and this can be done through synthetic testing. So acting as a user, going out there to test the site, test the transactions over time. Um, but we also offer that real user monitoring to ensure that something isn't happening in real time so that the monitor monitoring team can react to a potential issue. In the same way as delivering a service to customers, you know, many organizations we need to, de to deliver a quality of service to employees. And in this shift of, of remote work, there has been an increasing elevated need to focus on the employee experience. experience. You know, and, and with Catchpoint, these monitoring teams can proactively benchmark, monitor, analyze, and troubleshoot the employee experience. So as, as I'd mentioned with the ability to see outside in, and from the end user uh, out, the Catchpoint platform helps network operations teams actually resolve issues 
at the local network connectivity and even into the user device, uh, measuring and monitoring at the different points of, con of consumption. This type of performance data combined with data collected from the global network, which I'll get to in a moment, eliminates SaaS application performance blindness. Um, and managing those SaaS application performance and delivering quality of service to employees truly is tough enough as it, uh, as it is, especially since there is limited to no control uh, of the application. You know, yesterday, for example, we had an Office 365 outage for the last hour of work. Um, and this, of course, resulted in kind of that unavoidable working later in the day and impacting you know, kids' schoolwork, et cetera. But it's the reality that we all live in. And Catchpoint provides that visibility into those different types of SaaS applications to help either organizations circumvent or keep accountable the different services that are failing or being latent or creating issues within the network. And the only way to resolve data or to let some of these organizations know that they're not meeting up with the SLAs that they're committed to is with the data. And that's one of the values of Catchpoint is giving you that data to take back to uh, your service providers and push against the SLAs that they either are underperforming or not performing at all. And, and in the same way as, as with delivering a service to customers, organizations uh, can also hold themselves accountable. They can measure their own SLAs uh, with this platform to assure that they are meeting their obligations and commitments to their customers, whether those are other organizations or true consumers. Now, since most of us are, are using home internet connection, um, being able to have extended visibility from the user to the service, so me in uh, South Florida, all the way out to services that are being hosted in the Midwest or the Northeast, uh, is very valuable to, to Catchpoint because it helps me assure that I am productive and I am capable of, of performing uh, the day-to-day -day work and obligations. But where the real value is, and I think where most of this conversation is going to, to focus on, is really around network monitoring. You know, I'm, I'm a little selfish in saying that this is the most important component to our capabilities because this is the part of the portfolio that I support. But the reality is that the internet itself is quite organic. It's unpredictable. And we have to be able to see through the chaos of what is what we call the internet to assure that the user experience is optimized, if at the very least acceptable. Now, since the majority of digital services are delivered to customers via standard internet, many things can and do go wrong, such as outages. Um, the Catchpoint platform provides that detail of visibility on multiple hops between the user all the way to the acquired service. And it comes in handy to quickly troubleshoot issues either before they become real problems or when an issue is arising for an active user. And this is very key for the network operations teams where isolating a problem quickly is far more preferred than the traditional ruling out various potential issues because they don't know where to begin. 